y'all it is hope at crafty hope and welcome to part five of my chain link video series where i'm showing you different ways you can use large lengths of chain to make earrings we're gonna make these earrings today and the main thing about this set is that we're altering the chain links with some vintage patinas now i have a whole video on using vintage patinas i'll put a link up at the top um, but here is all we're using is the chain link, an ear wire, a bead, and a head pin. And that's for each earring. Um, to alter them, I'm going to be using some Vintage Glaze, which is a sealer. And also the patina that I'm using, which is Purple Sapphire. Now that's just a personal choice. I like that color. It went with the bead I had. Um, you'll need to make sure you shake up your patina really well. Um, I'm also using a couple of paint brushes and then my jewelry pliers. I'll have links to the supplies below that um, so that you can find them on Amazon. I will get a small compensation if you do any, buy anything from those links, but there's no extra charge to you. All right, so with these, to alter them, since I've already got one made, I'm using that as a reference, but for your, your first pair, you do you. Now I'm taking my smaller brush and just lining it up next to that first pair and adding a couple little stripes. And really that's all I want to make on these is some stripes. I could have chosen to color the whole thing or um, do like an ombre with a couple different colors. But for this pair I wanted to keep it super simple and add those stripes. Now I let that dry for a few minutes. The patina dries pretty quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the sides, the back, and the inside um, once that front is dry because I found that I could hold the little loop at the bottom of these ear links, uh, ear links, these chain links. <laughs> these are actually the same chain links I used in my res my tissue paper resin earrings. Um, I'll put a link to that in case you missed that. Um, they're pretty versatile um, since they have the loops at the top and the bottom. So. I'm just at painting that on again. This is a regular paintbrush and this is Vintage is a it's a cold enamel So it's kind of like fingernail polish, but it's specifically made for jewelry making and metal so um, it does Hold up pretty well, but Vintage also makes the patina sealer and extender Which is what we're going to use now now. There's a matte and a shiny or gloss. I'm using the gloss for this one since the metal itself is kind of glossy. And again, I'm just grabbing a regular old paintbrush. I'm using a wider one here and just going over all the areas where I put that patina on. And then I'm gonna use a clothespin, y'all. If you watch any of my videos, you'll see I use clothespins all the time. They're a great handy tool to have around on your desk. Um, but I'm just going to use that. You see me waving it around and I was like, what can I do? So I'm going to grab my clothespin and have it hold the, that link while it dries. So you're going to, it's going to hit me here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my desk a little bit before I do anything. If you do have any questions about the patinas or anything you see in this video series, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like and give me, I mean, give me a thumbs up and subscribe also. Okay, now that is dry again, like the patina, it dries pretty quickly. So I didn't have to wait around long. And when you're doing two of them, you can work on them, you know, while one's drying, work on the other. All right, now we're gonna make our bead dangle. I'm gonna do a wrapped loop. You could also do a simple loop, but I like the um, security of a wrapped loop. So first I'm gonna make my loop just like that. Um, I do have a tutorial also on wrapped loops, so I'll link that as well. I opened that loop just a little bit so I can slide it on to one of the loops at the bottom. And then I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to close that loop and then wrap it around the stem of that head pin. And for me, it takes about three wraps, goes pretty quickly. I'm going to secure that and then trim the tail 
and then tuck any little bit that's still on there. And from there, I'm just gonna open the loop on the ear wire and slip that whole thing on that top loop of the chain link and close it. And then that's it, y'all. We have a completed fun little pair of altered earrings using vintage patinas. All right, y'all, that is about it for this video. Um, like I said a minute ago, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And I appreciate you coming by and watching. Thanks for watching. Keep on crafting on, y'all. Bye. Thank you.